Looks like we're getting the facts, eh, boys? Good morning, guys. Hey, this is Nev Lapper from Snowboard Addiction. I'm here today with Tim, who is a brand new snowboarder. In fact, yeah. this is not set up. He's actually never snowboarded before in his life. Never. And what I'm doing today is we're going to be looking at different types of boards, how to buy a board, what to look for, different shapes. Um, and Tim's going to be asking you a bunch of questions about yeah. how to get set up for the snowboard. Got a lot to ask. So. <laughs> Um, we're right now in the Circle, which is a snowboard shop in uh, Whistler, which is where we're based. Uh, it's one of the coolest shops in town, and um, kind enough to let us uh, film a little tutorial. Awesome. So, sweet. so, there's lots of different types of snowboards, and there's no perfect board for everything, but I'm going to give you as much knowledge as I can today on different shapes and stuff. Cool. First thing I want to kind of ask is, do you know what kind of snowboarding you want to get into? Is there something you've seen that you're like, I want to do that? Yeah, so... Bit of a mixture, I guess, kind of being a skateboarder most of my life, you know, park appeals a little bit. Days of big stuff is, is done, I'm not going to be throwing myself off massive, you know, I guess 20 foot, I don't have big jumps off, but, you know, some... Oh, you probably will be. Yeah, yeah what are we giving you, what are we giving you going off 20 foot jumps? <laughs> some, but, uh, yeah, you know, like messing around, some little 360s, maybe some grinds and stuff, but then also more on the surfing side of things, having done a bit of surfing myself and spending a lot of time in that industry. Um, just some drawing nice lines on powder days and just do some carbs, getting some snow up. Just cruisy, down the mountain, nothing super fast and heavy power. But yeah, just a bit of kind of, I guess, all wrap.
morning guys. It is currently 5 a.m. I don't know if that's in focus, but anyways, me and Brennan here. Hey, what's going on? As, as known as the Platty Daddy. Um, we are on our way to Whistler. We're gonna go ride some sleds today. Uh, it's supposed to be somewhat nice out and some fresh snow. So we're pretty excited. It's gonna be a good day. We got some bros going up. Um, meeting a bunch of people up in Squamish, road tripping up, get to Whistler, go have some fun. What do you have to say, Bren? Not much. You know, it's the Platty Daddy here. We're going to be opening up the vlog today for the peeps. Uh, you know. Fuck. Keep rolling, buddy. Keep rolling. Um, there's not that much new snow. Well, there, there might be a little bit, but we're going to not set our bars too high and then uh, hope for the best, I guess. Maybe. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Cool. So, um, we're snowboarding. People who want to get into kind of freestyle, which it sounds like you do, it's nice to be able to get, get a board you can both ride regular and switch. Do you know what stance you ride? Yeah, I ride regular. Regular, okay. okay. So, um, you know, because there's so many different tricks in snowboarding, like 180s and board slides and 540s where you... Oh, yeah. Yeah.
morning guys. It is currently 5 a.m. I don't know if that's in focus, but anyways, me and Brennan here. Hey, what's going on? As, as known as the Platty Daddy. Oh. And... Oh. So me and Brennan found the good stuff. Uh, we found a little hole. Uh, it's up top it's pretty wind blowing, so the snow's not that great up there. But <clears throat> down it down in the holes you can definitely find some good snow. So we shot out with the boys. Bush, let me speak on a real real quick. Bet I'm hungry, so I set me up a meal real quick. I see money, let me go and make a meal real quick. Find a baddie made of my Whistler Live presents. Yeah, my eyes a notion. You better not cross it. Yeah, I'm in the distance and I need some rest. Yeah, I and somebody wants to.
Thank you, Melbourne. <laughs> Thank you, Scotland. Thank you, Pemberton. Uh. Hong Kong too. Nice. Switching your stance up all the time. It's really nice to be able to ride in both directions. Cool. Now, the other thing that you already you talked about a while is you talked about is kind of like um, more like free riding, surfy feel, like slashes and stuff. That's also a sick area of snowboarding that everybody loves to do. Yeah. And the board types between these two are actually very different. So it's hard to get a board that does everything, mm. but I'm gonna give you the different kind of design concepts and, uh, and show you what will work better for different ones. Perfect. Let's have a look at a couple of boards. Cool. So they have a, probably a couple hundred boards here. I just pulled a couple off the shelf here just to show you. I mean, you helped me pull them out. Tell me what you spot. Well, there's a big variety of shapes, you know, different, like some are symmetrical, some aren't, some have the, where the bindings go further down, so I guess riding it in kind of one direction, like switch wouldn't work as good. Yeah. I mean, you've got ones like this one with a massive cutout kind of swallow fish tail, I guess, if that's what we'd call it in surfing. Yep. But yeah, there's a big variety between them. So these first two boards are very powder focused boards. Those are, you're only going to ride them in one direction. Yeah. You're not going to ride very well at all going switch. <laughs> but in saying that, that'd be a hell of a lot of fun on a really deep pow day. Yeah. But it's not the kind of board you want to get for all the mountain. Yeah. Okay. So this one here, huge swallowtail. It's a big nose, big wide board up here. It's going to be amazing in power. It's going to sink under the back foot. Same thing with this one. This is also a power board. You'll see the size of the nose is a lot bigger than the size of the tail, which means it's designed to float through the snow, float on kind of top of the snow. Oh, yeah. The stance is set back towards the back foot more, so you're always riding it in one direction. Mm. I mean, if you, if you put it on the ground, you'll see that the back doesn't really raise up very much. So it's, it's pretty not, flat, yeah. it's not gonna, yeah. It's not gonna be a good one to ride switch on, <laughs> okay? Whereas some of these other boards that I've- Whistler Live presents in support of the Whistler community, special services, Rachel Gray and Guitar Doug. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Hair Farmers. Yeah, I'm a shadow man. 
at the back of the hall 